Every story has a beginning. O's Island Season 2 starts with 24 young adults randomly selected from different walks of life. Like life itself, they have absolutely no idea what lies ahead of them. Two boats, each filled with 12 contestants. That is a total of 24 young adults, aged between 21 and 30, with little or no prior information about themselves, but bound by a common purpose. In the next couple of minutes, these contestants will be shipped off, blindfolded, to a private island where they'll spend the next 55 days marooned with little or nothing to survive on. That is, little food, little water, rationed, everything. The definition of adventure. Welcome to Oz Island Season 2, Africa's most adventurous reality show. Yeah, you heard me. Most adventurous reality show. Like we say on Oz Island, Adventure Beckons. My name is Otun Jama III, and you can call me your mm, host ish. Anyways, let's not keep these guys waiting. Adventure Beckons. Come with me. Once on the island, the first task is to divide themselves into clans. But just before then, scattered within the forest are items, survival kits, a few foodstuffs. They all have 60 seconds to find and grab. What anyone picks? They keep and hold on to until further notice. The first task is somewhat political. It is to determine who gets to be clan head of the respective clans. There are four competing clans Alpha, Badagri, Elegushi, and Takwabe. But what's a clan without a clan head? The task is called Coconut Balance. At the command, each person is expected to pick a coconut place it on the foot while carrying two on their palms and maintaining position. The last four men or women standing automatically become clan heads. Some give up in seconds, makes one wonder their perseverance level. Congrats to the new leaders.
However, to decide who gets to make the first pick is solely dependent on each clan head's endurance level. Next, they build their own tents. Before long, fight starts in Takobi clan. Alegoshi clan seem to have found their rhythm as they walk together peacefully. Nothing good comes easy. No gods, no glory. As each clan battles to have their tents ready before nightfall, reality sets in. For a second, it just dawned on them they are in for a very long ride.
My experience coming down to this island, um, I would say it's a bitter and a fun experience for me because the bitter part of it is that uh, I didn't eat before coming to the island and I was so hungry and I couldn't find a place to get the food. And the fun part of it was that we, we went through the boat, you know, we, yeah, it was a smooth boat ride for us and that was actually my first time of um, traveling through a boat and it was very fun for me and and I'm here you know here for the competition here to compete with other people and let's see how it goes. My experience so far has been so amazing the boat ride from the jetty the blindfold it was crazy and I honestly did not expect to feel so excited to be in a very different environment and doing different things But I think we are we are really getting abducted to the fact that we are here. You know, we are in the jungle. You know, and it's not really it's not easy. But yeah, all the same, we are. Everything is going great. When we got to the island and we were caught for the first tax, we were conveyed to uh, the, the waterfront. And I was kind of skeptical. I, don't, I, I, I didn't really know what the tax was going to be like. And when we were told what it was going to be like, it was about balancing, checking our balances. I, I, I was so excited because it's something I, I do normally during my training sessions in the gym. And we're asked to balance coconuts with our palms and our legs, you know, hanging up. Luckily for me, I made it to the top four and um, as a clan leader. And but every clan was where I was to lead and it was nice. Yes, yes. <laughs> During the coconut balance task, which was the first task that um, we did when we got to the island, well, it was tasky, so to say, because I didn't think I was going to be able to, you know, come fifth or be amongst the first four but I told myself that I had to win and I felt really bad that I didn't win but hey I beat a lot of contestants and I became the last woman standing so I think that is like an amazing feeling I'm so happy. When we got to the island immediately where we had a task that um, we had a task this is called um, the coconut balance, you know, and we expected that anyone who wins or the last four standing gets to become the head clan. So, luckily for me, I did. Well, yeah, I was. I got. Um, I was the number four, and yeah, I put in my best, and yeah. Just find another one. Someone that sign up with that you. Please, please come out now. Just 
So on arrival, we were, we were presented with a challenge, was called, which was called the coconut balance challenge, where you have to balance three coconuts in your body, one on your leg and two on your hands. Do you understand? So that was challenging. And the result of that was to get the head of each clan, the head of four clans, so the four last persons to stand holding the coconut become, automatically become the heads of each clan. And I was fortunate enough to be one of the last four and I'm the head of the Elegoshi clan right now. So that was intriguing because I it, it determined it needed balance and a whole lot of focus. And I feel I was just fortunate enough to go through. The very first task, the very first day on Host Island it was not something I, I was really prepared for, but came. Head of clans had, you know, who were to be chosen. When I heard that head, you know, at first when I started with the coconut balance, it wasn't easy. I was a bit tensed, but in the long run, the winning spirit just had to take over. And at the end of the day, I'm glad I came out victorious, being one of the eight clans. Before when we asked to pick uh, our clan mates and after winning the, the, the contest, uh, I knew their abilities, that was how I picked them. Yeah, from intellect and the physical attributes, those were the things I checked before picking. And we've, we're trying to put hands and brains, everything together on deck to make sure that we carry out different contests and activities to make sure that we come out tops and God willing I know that definitely by the grace of God we will scale through the tax challenges in, on Oz Island. Yeah. Now that I'm the clan head for Takwa Bay and um, yeah my team and I we are all prepared we are so prepared for any challenge any task that, that will be given to us you know for today and yeah, we've already set up our formation and we are ready for any other clans that, are, that we'll be facing today. So we believe that we've already talked about it and we know we're going to put in our very best. After winning the coconut challenge, I had to pick my clan members, which was a, 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 little, bit, a, dif, a little bit difficult for me because I needed to balance strength and speed and a whole lot of mental stuff. So, I picked my, my clan members and yes, we're supposed to compete with each other. We're here for a competition, yes, we're supposed to compete with each other and it's going to be tough. I just told my clan members not to underestimate anybody because you never can tell who's going to come through on any task. Whatever task we're giving, we give it all, body, mind and spirit. So that's the plan and we're here for the competition. We're going all in, trust me. Elegushi clan, all day.